your favorite way to decorate for fall is. Pretty big on not using fall specific symbols. Hey there, welcome back to the channel. This is Editing Brooke coming at you to say I really hope that you enjoyed this week's bonus video. This video is a conversation between me and shop owner Lexi Torres of Shop Bella Lexi. She sells the highest quality pompous grass that I have ever seen. I'm linking her shop in the description. But we were sitting down and talking all things fall. Fall trends that we're seeing, fall home decor tips, everything fall. So if you are excited and ready for some really good nuggets, I hope you enjoy this video, and if you don't want to watch it, listen to it in your headphones like a podcast because there are so many great tips in here, and I don't want you to miss them. I also am linking a blog post in the description where I have all of the best tips all in one place so that way you can go check it out at any time. And without further ado, here's the conversation between me and shop owner Lexi Torres about fall, and I hope you are ready, so enjoy. How are you? I am good. How are you? Good, good. It's so nice to finally meet you. Yes, I know. It is. It's good. <laughs> I was like, I need to add Kelly. And then I was like, wait a minute. That's not her name. <laughs> I was like, where did I get that from? No, you're good. You're good. Um, how are you today? I'm good. Just yeah. Been, yeah, I got to walk in. And so that's always nice. But it is hot. <laughs> I didn't make it for long. Yeah. Is it, where are you located again? South Carolina. So okay. it's like, yeah, you the South. Right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I'm in California and it's pretty hot here too. So yeah, I believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of a heat wave everywhere, I guess. I think it is for sure. Yeah. yeah. But at least that's what I'm excited to have you on. Um, yeah. It's the first time I'm doing a collab live. I've been wanting to do something like this for um, a while where I, you know, bring someone on like an expert in interior yeah. design or, you know, wedding floor, etc. cetera, that um, can just kind of talk about, you know, like for the home decor, you know, your expertise, what you like, what you don't like, um, the trends yeah. you're seeing and all of that good stuff. So I'm excited to have you. I'm excited too. This is my first collab live also. So nice. I'm yeah. The first many, hopefully. I hope so. Yeah. Hopefully we're up for it again. Um, but Absolutely. I want it to be fun and just like, you know, um, kind of, um, what's that word? I'm totally drawing a bank. Just like <laughs> giving our audience, like, you know, knowledge. And I just want to pick your brain. Tell me a little bit about where school and all of that good stuff. Yes. So I went to school at Winthrop University for interior design. I got my degree and then I actually worked as a professional interior designer for three years in the commercial field. So I designed like schools and offices and things like oh. that. And then I switched over and did high end residential for about a year before I started pulling back to do my blog and YouTube channel full time. So that is yeah. so cool. Now, when I hear about like people designing like commercial spaces, um, you said high end residential, were you like actually building the house structure or more of like the decor inside? So with the commercial, I worked for a place that did like the office furniture is primarily what we did. Um, so the buildings were already there. We didn't do any construction with the residential. It was high end remodels. So, um, we, we really took down some walls and knocked some things around. So, yeah. Wow, so cool. So I see that you do a lot of like remodeling on your YouTube, right? Yeah. So I do a lot of home decor now, more residential, but my heart, which I kind of discovered this when I was working full time, my heart is like everyday home design, you know, accessible and approachable home design so that anyone can have like a really beautiful home that they love because it's it's important. And I think that HDTV and and the way that we see things, sometimes it feels really out of reach. And I so I love showing thrifting and how you can use thrifted decor and how you can make small changes with what you already have. And so that's kind of where my heart is when it comes to interior design. So that's what I love. I have there's this one influ influencer that I've worked with and she did a couple of pictures in um, of our pompas in a vase and everyone always asks me like where's that vase from like I have that vase 
And I, someone said they love my orange pillow. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, I asked her where she got it. And it, she said she got it at a thrift shop, you know? So it's like, sorry guys. Like, you know, it's kind of a one of a kind. And then I kind of send them to, you know, there's like anthropology and that have like these like rattan bases, but a lot yeah. more than uh, the thrift store, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I definitely, I mean, a lot of my home decor is thrifted and um, so yeah. yeah, it's it's definitely a very good resource for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I definitely want to do that more, especially for vases. I feel like you can find like some gold nuggets there, you know? What's oh, your favorite yeah. item that you found at a thrift store? Like your absolute favorite. Oh. That's tough. Um, probably one of them is probably actually this frame behind me. Yeah. Uh, so. That. <laughs> yeah. So finding that large frame, that's probably one of them. <sighs> I feel like there's something else too. It it has to be probably a vase, like you said. I've I've definitely yeah. got really good deals with that and for amazing prices. You just can't beat it. I mean, the price is half the game when you're going. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I can't believe this. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So um, I should introduce myself. I'm Alexis, the owner yeah. of Lexi. And so I started selling pompous grass in August of 2020. So I'm kind of coming up on a two year mark. Um, but I pride myself in selling high quality, like luxurious stems that are, you know, timeless and um, kind of give off those like boho minimalist vibes. Um, and I feel like they're so versatile. They go with like any decor piece. So I, I love to bring like joy and like nature indoors. So it's just kind of everything combined and to what I love, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I know that, you know, maybe some of your audience is coming on. So I wanted to just kind of throw that in there. Um, yeah. What would you say your home decor style is? So I would say my style is definitely a mix of styles, which is actually what I recommend to most people is to pick two or three different styles. You just name that you're minimalist and boho, two yeah. or three different styles, because the way you mix those styles together is what makes it uniquely you. And so that's what makes your home feel lived in and feel homey. So I would say I definitely um, use a lot of the boho textures and I love minimal clean lines. And then I also love a touch of vintage character. So I mix the three quite often. <laughs> I love that. I feel like that's yeah. me too. Maybe with a little bit of glam, but yes. you know, it's like, and every room, right, is different, I'm assuming. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they all have like a different pull to them, but if you pull the different elements out, you, you'll find a common denominator throughout the whole house. And I'm sure that you will as well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, totally. And I'm always like moving things around everywhere, like just energetic. Shopping your own house. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like this doesn't feel right. Let's just move this here and um, just kind of spice things up, I guess, a little bit. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so I know our talk was based on like fall, fall trends and decor. So tell me, do you like fall, fall decor? <laughs> Yeah. So when it comes to fall, I feel like most people are really obsessed with fall. And I just never have been like that level of obsessed. Yeah. But yeah. obviously, I do love how it gets cooler. I love that, you know, there's not as many bugs. So I do enjoy fall. And now that I have my own house, I really enjoy bringing in the new seasons with decor. And, and it feels like I can, you know, embrace them a little better. So yes, I definitely love fall. Yeah. I'm just not quite as obsessed what as do you I think that is? Do you think it's because of Starbucks and the, <laughs> and the pumpkin latte? Because I'm actually all for that. Yes, I, I agree. I, I, I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's just like the cozy clothing and vibe. I, I don't, I don't know. But yeah. maybe all the, I, yeah. I get it, but I've just never been that obsessed with it. But I definitely do love decorating for fall. Yeah. 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 I feel like it is all like the, the coziness, you know, the fireplace, less bugs. I've never thought about that, but you're right. Less <laughs> bugs. You can throw yes. on a jacket versus, you know, sweating everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. 
you know, the plaid and, and things slowing down a little bit, right? And it's kind of getting ready for like the holidays and back to school, things just slow down, you know? Like, I feel like that's like the energy I'm getting with fall. And I like to kind of celebrate that, right? A sense of- I also think maybe it's a like pre-holiday excitement too. Like it's almost yeah. there, but not quite. And I, I'm not yeah. sure, but it's just I something- definitely agree. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say um, your favorite way to decorate for fall is? Um, I would say I'm pretty big on not using fall specific symbols or using just like fall specific items. I definitely approach it more from a texture and color standpoint. So I'll swap out, you know, different color blankets for darker ones or for thicker ones for plusher ones, you know, I might remove some of this floral from back here and replace it with more solid or maybe some plaid or stripes or something. So I kind of lean toward you know, using more, I guess, solids and uh, colors and things like that. And the result is, is that I can use, say, a burgundy blanket, and that'll carry me all the way through fall into Christmas. And then you can layer more specific decor on top, but that way you get more bang for your buck. Um, yeah. You can use items multiple times. You can move them around, reuse them. And I just feel like it's a, it's a much better way to approach it. I love that. Yeah, because, you know, it gets colder. So you're kind of layering up on more versus, you know, taking away and um, changing it up all the time because that can get pricey, right? Yeah. Change it up to the different holidays and the different styles. So I really like that. Do you, um, what color schemes do you go for for like fall? So for fall, I definitely love, um, I love your neutral tans and I actually wanted to add another way on top of your colors and textures is also with your florals. So that's where your pompous grass, I think is a really great use of that as well, because yeah. I have a lot of, um, I don't know if you can see, I have a lot of like flower arrangements and things like oh, that yeah. in the background. And yeah. so swapping something like that out for dried florals or for pompous grass and things is automatically going to add that fall feeling and kind of bring you into that season without putting a banner that says fall up on your door. So right. um, which, I think that's a great fall, right? That fall. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing Absolutely. wrong with that. I mean. If yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> um, but as far as colors, I would say your tans. I'm also seeing a lot of deeper, richer colors. So your terracottas, your dark browns. Um, I would say you could even use a touch of black, but I, I think sticking more to those warmer tones is definitely very fall. Touch of red, touch of burgundy. I definitely lean more neutral. I think with you in the boho style, you probably lean a little more neutral as well. So yeah. I usually stick to more of like the terracotta is about as, as warm as I go. So yeah. um, I think yeah. that those are great colors to use. I feel like with the boho, like minimalist, if it is kind of a more neutral palette, like I have with the beige, you know, like I can add in a terracotta or, you know, whatever. Absolutely. To complement it. So it's super cool to you know, kind of add in and leave it. And like you said, not have to like switch it up all the time, you know? Exactly. You have a great base and you can kind of swap right. and build off of it all year. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I love that. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on pompous grass? And you, I know you already kind of touched on like using them as dry pieces for fall. Like, have you had any before? Like, what are your thoughts about this trend? I'm trying to think. So I feel like I definitely have used it before, but I don't currently have any around but I've definitely seen it in wreaths a matter of fact I was just in Hobby Lobby the other day and I'm seeing a lot of the dried like pompous wreaths for fall um and then I also love using it in ways that are a little untraditional so for example I love it in a pot in a vase standing but I also love using it maybe two branches on your dining table with a centerpiece in the middle and use it as your garland um, just to add that, that touch of softness and warmth to your table. Yeah. And I'm trying to think what else too. I, I think it's just a great way to add softness. Okay. So. Yeah. I never thought of like the softness. I mean, I know that they're soft and like silky. Yes. But, um, I always just think of them as like whimsical, you know, and Absolutely. like, I don't even know like what, like, just like, ah, uh, you know, <laughs> like a cloud. Yeah. 
Um, Absolutely. So let me see. We kind of talked about the colors already. If there's specific color pompas, I know you said the terracotta, the reds, maybe the dark browns. Um, yes. Maybe some blacks for people that are more into that like spooky, like Halloween. Absolutely. And even the I feel like is a good color, right? For fall. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And also, I mean, the the more natural color, that also works well for fall because it gives off that dried, kind of like the autumn seasons changing, things are kind of dying, kind of um yeah, that doesn't really sound great, but <laughs> that's what happens in the fall. So I would yeah. say any of the colors on the leaves that are falling, those are kind of the colors you want to look for. Yeah. Um, that. yeah. We don't really do that in California, but <laughs> I see pictures <laughs> and movies. Yes. Like oh, that. wow. <laughs> I never thought about it. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty much the same here all year round. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. yeah that is crazy yeah because yeah. we're already not the time but we're already getting some leaves yeah oh yeah I kind of love that I do I went yeah. to Michigan a couple years ago and it was really cool like the trees and the colors it was like magical but I can yeah, always for a while and then it all turns dead in the winter <laughs> it's just yeah. <laughs> um so what new fall trends are you seeing for this upcoming season is there anything that you're seeing that's kind of different than the year before yeah maybe I just wasn't paying attention but I feel like this year I'm seeing jewel tones a lot um for pumpkins and so like deeper darker tones where I feel like in the past few years I've seen a lot more like the more neutral pumpkins and I've seen like the um the textured pumpkins, but what I'm seeing is different textures. So in the past and returning is like the knit pumpkins and the burlap pumpkins and things like that. This year I'm seeing velvet, which I saw last year, but I'm yeah. seeing it again this year. I'm yeah. seeing leather pumpkins and also lots of wood tones. So those more deeper tones I think are what um, are kind of being drawn to this year. Uh, yeah. I think uh, just to kind of break up all of the really light and monotone that we've seen the last couple of years kind of emerging, I think yeah. people are looking for pops of like a deeper warmth. Yeah. So, That's so like, obviously they're handmade, right? The pumpkins with the leather and the... I'm not sure. I saw some at Hobby Lobby, so I'm not sure if they're handmade or not. I'm sure that there yeah. are handmade versions, but... Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. And so yeah. with the... Um, pompous grasses and the florals another trend that I'm seeing that I feel is kind of different is um the more sparse styling so uh in like the magazines for the summer you were seeing the really sparse really long whimsical limbs in a vase and I'm kind of seeing that for fall as well but with dried florals so I would say when it comes to pompous grass and the dried florals even some of that whimsy where it's more sparse and like three stems kind of floating yeah. out i'm seeing that styling versus what i feel like we would have seen a few years ago which was really full styling so yeah yeah and do you see them paired with like other florals what do you feel like goes well with that yeah so i think you could probably go either way and this would be a situation that depends on which vase you're kind of styling in but i would say anywhere from three to five stems depending on the size of your vase and then you could mix and match your heights and also your texture. So if you did a pompous grass that's more on the soft side, I would probably add something that's a more uh, richer, darker, dried grass, or maybe um, I think you have the bunny tails. Is that what they're called? Maybe yeah. a brown bunny tail with the neutral um, pompous. Yeah. Just mix those in. Yeah. Yeah. Like just the different sizes and textures and colors. I've seen. Yeah. Um, people leave reviews on my shop and w I can think of one where she did do like the pompas and then the little bunny tails in dark colored, which was interesting. And I hadn't seen that before. So that's super cool that you mentioned. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then is there any, are there any trends that you like are over that you just want to kind of see? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, well, I personally am not a fan of anything that kind of says things. I'm not a fan of like the the signs that yeah. say 
things, I much prefer textures and patterns and colors to kind of speak for themselves. But I know that they're super popular and they yeah. bring a lot of people joy. So I, I yeah. get it. It's just not personally my thing. And I would love yeah. to see, I guess, a little less of it. And so that way there's a little bit more. Because I feel like I'm always picking up a pillow that I love and then it says something. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, probably the one trend. I, yeah. Yeah, that's so funny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Well, let me see. I'm trying to see. Do you have any questions for me or anything like that? Um, yeah. So you've been doing it for two years. What have you seen for fall? I'm sure you see shifts in what people kind of are drawn to at different times of the year. So yeah. what pompous grasses really get popular at this time of year? Well, I feel like it kind of slows down for summer, like the very bright, I'm getting a lot of orders for like bright colors. Um, like kind of like you mentioned, people are wanting like pops of color. I feel like, you know, since the pandemic, now we're kind of shifting out of that. So people are like ready to live their best lives and are like, you know, I want to be inspired by these pop of colors and, you know, going out and doing this stuff. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So I see the same thing with fall, like the terracotta colors. Um, surprisingly, I see a lot of black being popular, which is, I, yeah, I feel yeah. like Halloween is like a big deal in terms of like decor and people kind of really embrace that, you know, like that mood, those moody vibes. Yeah. And um, so that one, but terracotta for sure um, has yeah. You know, I don't know how long it's going to stay for. And I don't mind it. I think it's a really pretty color. Um, no. But especially for things and events, you know, for the fall, I see a lot of terracotta and, like, the kind of, like, the beige with it, you know, kind of natural. Oh, yeah. But, um, and, like, the red. And, yeah, I feel like they're all just really popular. It's kind of hard to choose, you know, which one is the most. But definitely just the pop of colors for sure. Okay, yeah. 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 I feel like for sure I could see the terracotta being popular and I yeah. think I think all the the different tones that you offer, I can see them all really just being popular in the fall because they all do kind of have that whimsical and not not as floral look to them that really fit that fall coziness. So I can totally see that. Yeah. 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 So I'm really excited. We are launching um, some fall products the first of yes. September. So I'm doing some sneak peeks in the upcoming weeks on like what's going to, you know, be in that launch, the colors, the type, there's going to be different types of pompas. And I just want to offer a variety, you know? Yes. Um, That's exciting. Yeah, I'm really excited. And um, I just want to bring you know, pompas that bring joy. Like that's really my main thing is like bringing joy by just, you know, looking at a flower or a plant, whatever, you know? So um, yeah. I'm really excited for that. And I look forward to having you on again, maybe next yeah. time see what our audience likes and if they want, you know, a specific tutorial on something or yeah. thing, we can meet again and- Absolutely. Um, Thank you so much for taking time to meet with me. And this no, was thank you. Uh, yeah, it was I, super fun. Thank you. Yeah, I loved hearing from like an expert in terms of like interior design and home decor and just kind of picking your brain on that. So I'm very excited about it. Well, thank you so much. I, I had a lot of fun and I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you. Thank you. Okay, we'll talk soon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye.